Hey guys, in this video, let us see the difference between or else and or else get. In case of or else, it takes the object as parameter. In case of or else get, it takes supplier as parameter. In my case, I have explicitly given string because we are going to work with a list of string objects. If you are going to use any other data type, be it a wrapper class or your user defined class, then you need to pass the appropriate parameter. For our example, I am going to work on a list of string objects. Now let us directly jump into the application. Here I have got two examples. One is for or else and or else get. If you are coming to this video directly, then please watch the video of how to use or else and or else get. Both or else and or else get are used to provide optional or substitutional value. That is, when you try to call find first dot get, if the value is available, it will return the value. If the value is not available, calling get method on an empty optional will throw no such element exception. So, to avoid that, we are using or else or or else get. In case of or else, it takes string as parameter because we are working on a list of string. In case of or else get, it takes supplier as parameter which returns a string value. In both the cases, we are trying to filter the elements that starts with M. It means we will be getting an empty optional. Now, let me run this application. We need to get no course available. In both the cases, we are getting no course available. Then what is the use? Should I use or else or should I use or else get? Let us see this with a simple example. Now what I will do is, I am going to create a static method. Public static string. Show. Let me add a printer and statement. Inside show. And return hello. Okay. Now what we will do is, instead of printing no course available, let us call the show method. This is a static method, so I can call it directly. So what will happen? It will enter into show method. It will print inside show and it has to return hello. Now same thing we will do it for or else get. In case of or else get, you are providing the implementation of supplier, which has to call the show method. In both the cases, because find first is returning an empty optional, show method will be called. It will print the output inside show and hello twice. Let us run the application. So here you can see the output. Now what will happen if I try to filter the list of elements that starts with yes. In both the places I have changed it. It means in this case find first has to return spring. Both or else and or else get will return spring. It will work perfectly fine. Then what is the difference? Because you are using or else, whether there is a value or not, the content inside or else method will be called. That is, if find first is not returning a value, then also the content inside or else will be called. If the find first is returning a value, then also the content inside or else will be called. That is, it will go to show method. It will print this inside show. It will return the hello value. But even before that, we are printing spring. So the output will be spring. But whatever you have given inside or else will be called automatically. Now coming to or else get. In case of or else get, if there is no value, then only the implementation of supplier will be called. If there is a value, in our case, we are getting the output as spring. So, the content inside or else get, that is the implementation of supplier will not be called. Now, let us save this and run the application. You will see the output. So, you can see for the first one, it is entering into or else, calling the show method. It is printing inside show and returning the output as hello. But find first is already returning spring. So, we will be getting the output as spring only. So, the initial output is inside show and spring. Now, coming to the second case, find first is already returning spring. So, or else get method will not be called at all. Whether you get a value or not, this or else method is getting called. It will enter into show, it will print inside show and it will return hello. 
but already find first is returning spring so the output will be only spring that's what you are seeing over here now coming to or else get in case of or else get you find first is returning a value then or else get will not be called that is the implementation of supplier will not be called if find first is not returning a value only in that scenario the implementation of supplier will be called so that is why we are getting the output as spring it is not entering into the show method so which is better according to performance or else get if you are using or else and if you are calling a method inside that if the method implementation is bigger the performance will be slow because whether the value is returned or not or else will be called but in case of or else get if the value is returned by find first or else get method will not be called at all so to get better performance you can use or else get that's all thank you